I just had one of those workouts that piss you off. You know what I'm talking about? Where you're pushing yourself to the limit and then you're just like, God and damn it. That's what it was. That's where I'm at. You know, I'm pushing myself to the limit. Why? Because it's the most anticipated fight in all of celebrity boxing history. Light heavyweight title on the line, live, June 12th, only on pay-per-view at the showboat in AC. You got Ryan Riboslice Dalton versus James, the pillow puncher Salvi. And let me tell you something, it's going to be a dirty fight because all bets are off, okay? And I'm not, was there, there was no bad blood leading into this fight because I never met James before. He had something that I wanted. I'm kind of obsessed with gold, call me a leprechaun. And, uh... He had the belt. He had the belt. I called him out. And again, he was foolish enough to take it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, a lot of people don't think he's all there mentally because he took me up on a challenge. And that's a guaranteed loss. Anybody walking God's green earth, if you go one-on-one -on -one with me inside the ring, that is labeled and stamped a guaranteed loss. So for him to say, I would like one, please, that makes you a little cuckoo. So... That's James. But uh, was is there bad blood? You know, uh, Damon Feldman, CEO of Celebrity Boxing, does uh, Celebrity Boxing Live, Instagram Live, and he starts talking to UFC fighters, other boxers, fans, promoters, all that good stuff. And me and James uh, did a video chat on there, and uh, it, was, it was cordial. I was nothing but I was nice. I was always nice. Uh, I'm a prince. I wasn't bragging at all. All I was doing was just having a nice cordial conversation with James. And then James starts freaking uh, showing the belt in the Instagram. He was being a jerk. And he was showing the belt and he's like waving it. And I felt like Mel Gibson from Ransom, like hardcore, where I just wanted to scream, give me back my belt, because it is mine. Once I saw it, I deemed it mine. So he has something that in my mind, he stole from me because I'm the champ. And that's obvious, again, because it's a guaranteed loss. So all I'm saying is right now there is bad blood because he has something that I see as mine. And uh, although it's not official, it's going to become June 12th. But James, again, I want to give you a way out. You know, a lot of people are like, Ryan, please give him a way out. Because James is a good guy. I, it, deep down, I think he has a heart of gold. I think deep down he, do, he is a good guy. I just don't like him. But uh, they were like, give him a way out. So James, if you FedEx that title to me overnight, because I, I don't want to wait. If you could even drive it over. If you want to drive it over, that's fine. I'll save you on the shipping. I mean, you're going to have to pay for gas, but that's up to you. But if you give me that belt, and I will, and I'll just be the champ. That's fine. That's your way out. If not, here is an impression of you. Do the right thing or suffer the consequences. I'll be looking outside on my porch for that package.